देखे मेरे बस में होता मैं कहता कि बुरहान वानी को जिंदा रहना चाहिए ताकि मैं डायलॉग करता हूं उनके साथ और मैं समझाता हूं उनको कि कश्मीर हिंदुस्तान और पाकिस्तान की दोस्ती का एक बड़ा अच्छा मजबूत पुल बन सकता है और वो भी उसमें काम आते लेकिन वो अब वो मर गए हैं जिन लोग जो लोग शहीद मानते हैं वो माने जो लोग मानते हैं कि वो कत्ल हो गए वो कर हो गया है हादसा मगर मैं आपको कहता हूं हमको पलट के पाकिस्तान और हिंदुस्तान के दरमियान दोस्ती बढ़ाने के रास्ते में आना चाहिए और कश्मीरियों का दर्द समझना चाहिए चाहे बुरहान वानी को लोग क्या क्या पुकारते रहेंगे हड़तालें कितनी होंगी उसमें मुझे दिलचस्पी नहीं है मुझे इसमें दिलचस्पी है कि कश्मीर के लिए लोग महाराष्ट्र से लेकर कश्मीर तक दर्दमंदी का दिल खोल दें so that is safe for the insos viewers and those of you who actually know him remember he does enjoy considerable heft when it comes to the polity of jammu and kashmir so why why is he hailing someone like a burhan wani let me get in my colleague zinat who closely tracks that story for us zinat why should anyone do this if this is not out of political compulsions why do we have safe for the insos today actually raising up you know the ante for someone like a burhan wani saying i would have been happier had he been alive see uh, dipti we have been seeing uh, these politics politicians doing the politics on one or the other thing when they don't have anything to say it is better to say something that is what we have been seeing mr sos doing for long time now because you see there is a uh, burhan uh, burhan wani is just and will see tomorrow so every is trying to uh, score the points but we have been talking to the people in in government who are the part of the government they been saying that the what when a uh, militant he chooses the past so you cannot say you invite him for talk when he is ready he has chosen a past to die All right Zina stay with me you know it, it's important also to put out this retort this defense now from Saifuddin Sos because many would say that Rahul Gandhi really needs to sack him but will Rahul Gandhi actually do that will he stand up and say what Saifuddin Sos has said is actually wrong because then what is the difference between uh, someone like a uh, Mehbooba Mufti of the PDP but listen into the sequence this sequence now coming in after he made that comment and this is our cameras now chasing him so why someone like a saifuddin sos actually here gunning for burhan wani why is he supporting him let me also get on my colleague chaitanya who got us that sequence chaitanya zero answers coming in now from someone like a saifuddin sos but can he actually get away with making a statement like that why why is this congressman today speaking for burhan wani because he is a terrorist period well as zinat rightly said uh, uh, you know politicians usually they need some of the other topic and this time it looks like uh, as tomorrow is uh, brahan wani's death anniversary this person over here this congress leader wants uh, to highlight him wants to you know gain some kind of uh, attention towards him as well because there was no need for him to make such a statement over here but he did that he did that and when we tried to ask him about it he runs away he says that i don't want to talk to republic and he says whatever we are showing is not right in fact i did ask him uh, you tell me what is right we, just just let me know what is right what, what do you want to say and for that question he says no i don't want to talk to republic and he shuts the door of uh, that particular hall where the, where the conference is going on at present so this is something this was the attitude that we saw right now of this particular congress leader over here although we tried approaching him uh, i was very polite in fact in asking him but then he saw the boom mic he asked me which channel he saw the logo and he said if you are from republic i don't want to talk to you i don't want to talk to republic so th these were his words and uh, now it remains to be seen what will he do because i'm still here at this very place where the conference is going on and we will again approach him he is still inside the conference is going on it is and is expected to get over by 6 pm so we will again approach him try to ask him all the tough questions that our viewers want to know about and let us see what he has to say what reaction he gives will okay. he answer us or will he again run away that remains to be seen over here